And we are live, Battle of the Week number 25, with Beard. Welcome to Battle of the Week. Uh, we got some spicy uh, battles. Yeah, let's, actually, I took a sneak peek at the, the latest entry, and uh, I'm not trying to be biased here, but I have a feeling it's going to... Uh... Oh, actually, as a matter of fact, <laughs> it's an LDL battle. And I forgot that we, I, well, I mentioned that earlier, I should remember more than anyone, but we do LDL Battle of the Week separately, so we're going to go ahead and technically, potentially, name two Battle of the Weeks this week, I guess. We might as well, because yeah. <laughs> I don't, I don't, I don't know how the next PR is going to go down. It's getting a little bit messy later in the season. Everyone's so freaking busy. Like, the PRs are uh, just kind of hit and miss here and there. We'll get it. Like yeah. A bunch of slots. Um, anyways. Uh, let's um, jump into this battle, yeah? Yeah. I'm getting distracted trying to figure out what I want to do about that. Because I, I didn't realize it, that last battle. Uh, but it's actually the, uh, the Brandon... Arthur battle, and it's one that I really want to watch, <laughs> so I, I'm kind of uh, partial to wanting to check that out, but um, yeah, we'll get it started. The The first battle is one that happened uh, a couple of weeks ago. I believe Jesse live-streamed it. I didn't actually check out the whole battle, um, but it's Amber versus Jesse. Uh, it's an Evo match, and... I remember Jesse getting really, really salty about this, so I'm excited to to, to see what goes down. I'm gonna go ahead and Amber start with. Ow! The fucking tox effects. I already know it's gonna be annoying as hell. <laughs> Dude, I fucking hate tox effects. But okay. Well. Oh. First, I'm going to see how many turns this is, because this, is this, oof, it's, okay, it's not it's super work. bad. We have 39 turns, <laughs> so, oh, okay. it's about medium, I guess. I mean, it's no Antony. Oh, fuck no, it's turn not. Battle. <laughs> so, the Sand the Slash gets crippled immediately. I really like how the Duskenoir's stomach opens up when it uses moves. It's really creepy. I don't know the lore behind it. So I guess that's it. I guess that's its face. I don't know how it works. Like, actually. Very appealing to me. Like, like, dust, like dust clops? I was like, oh yeah, this makes sense. Yeah. One of the fourth gen evolutions. Is... Got the crit. They're, they're, they're questionable. Yeah. <laughs> that earthquake isn't doing shit, man. So, so, I guess I believe this is Amber. Yeah, this is Amber's side that we're watching. Uh, and she's just pretty determined to uh, <laughs> whittle away at that sand slash. Um, I'm impressed with how bulky Duskenware is. Dude, it is. Um, it's super bulky. Arthur drafted it in PU for a fucking reason. Yeah, because I wouldn't have thought... Yeah, as it can be. Um, and it's got a really good move. Pool. Yeah, it does. It's... It's not the easiest mod to use. I mean, obviously, it's a PU. It's going to have its setbacks. But it kind of takes a little bit of setup. Because it... That's a, it's a nice taunt. Um, yeah. <laughs> that, was a good play on, that was a good play on Jesse's part. Um, it definitely has a move pull. But it doesn't support... It, it doesn't feel like it supports as well as Dusclops does. That Evil Light just makes Dusclops a fucking monster. Well, yeah, and I imagine that like with the right team core support. Yeah. 
you can utilize it. For sure. I mean, hell, I I use I try to use Dusclops offensively, like more than I should. So, I could imagine Dusk Noir being a little bit more uh, convenient for that fact. The thunder with the crit still didn't knock it out. That's fucking disgusting. Surely, okay, she's just gonna sack it. I guess it did its fair share. Not bad. No. The Tauros. Um. Yeah, it's just gonna get thundered and hit really fucking hard here, cause Tauros is not bulky by any means. Wow. Ooh. Wow. <laughs> All right, they're both. Uh, oh, there, there goes Tauros. Life orb. There you go. <laughs> So what, what are they at? They're four and four right now. Yeah, I think so. Okay, time oh, to. Uh, I'm surprised. I was just about to say time to skip forward twenty turns. Jeez, I was gonna say pack the sheer force on the Tauros though, because that was like a life orb, like. Yeah. Oh. Wow. Okay. But as shitty as Guzzlord is, dude, I love that fucking design. What a creepy looking thing. Dude, I love the darker style of like art that they use sometimes, though. So. Like a lot of the ghost type mons are fucking awesome. I've been pretty I mean, I've been leaning a lot towards, um, lately. Towards what? This Magius. Oh, dude, that thing's a monster. I mean, get a couple of <laughs> Calm Minds up, dude. Um, I remembered Squid Set from R.A.U. against you. Yeah. Tim, uh, Week 9 or whatever? Yeah, I re I recall. It's scary. Yeah, uh, you're, you're not you're not kidding. Oh. Huh. She's got the spikes on the field. Did she just try to set spikes three times? Because it failed. I kind of missed that. Dude, this isn't going to do jack. It actually did. What? Okay, the crit. <laughs> Alright. Oh, lord. Well, here we are. Toxapex doing what Toxapex does. Yeah, and Jesse just stuck out there with the fucking infestation. Ah, I'm not doing anything. Fuck, man. So he can't even switch out, and it's just getting whittled away. I think Infestation works for f five turns? I can't remember. Yeah. Um, okay. Ooh. I rarely ever see the swallow with the stockpile. It's kind of rare to actually see the move, like, complete. <laughs> it's not very effective. I mean, that's a lot of... Out. Yeah, I was about to say, that's a lot of move slots just to... Like, cancel out your defenses. <laughs> I don't know. 
I would rather just have the stockpile lefties. He's just gonna do, keep doing this. Alright, well, we're past halfway. <laughs> this, gonna is switch. this is definitely the low part of the battle here. But yeah, with Infestation gone, it is, it's time to get the fuck out of town, man. Jesse, just... Just bail. Nope. So what's he gonna do at fucking m minus four? <laughs> Oh my gosh. Why did he stay in? Thank you, Anthony. Yeah, Anthony confirmed that as long as your opponent stays in, or as long as you stay in, if you use Infestation, uh, it's four to five turns. So what? what's going on here? I mean, he's at minus four. Yeah. And you're just getting residual damage done. Oh my god. Well, he still has the stockpile swallow at the same time, so he can just... <clears throat> but he's gonna run out of Dracos and Gyro Balls. <laughs> so is this... Is this lost by PP? Is this a struggle? <laughs> I mean, uh, I and he's. I mean, it's it's unfortunate because he has to like stay in. And he yeah. Can oh, he has no choice. That's. I mean, well, he had a choice. Instead of setting stockpiles, you should have fucking switched while he had the chance. My God, he's going minus six. <laughs> oh shit. Dude, it's no wonder Jesse was so salty after this match. Oh man. <clears throat> Excuse me. Okay, so just see more of this. What did that do? One damage? I didn't actually, <laughs> I didn't see it move. I, I guess it did a one. Ooh. Okay, she finally fucking switches. Oh my god, Amber. Thank you. You could have done this twenty fucking turns ago. So just take the minus six Draco. Set a sword stance and sweep. Oh, man. Nope. Gonna use priority. And uh, what? Okay. <laughs> I'll let her do. Hey, she won. I'll I'll just let her do her thing here. Wow. Oh. I was about to say what happened. Is that a, dude, that looked like it was a crit too, <laughs> but it wasn't. Um, Anthony, it's almost that over. That did so much damage. Don't worry. That matchup was cancer. Dude. <laughs> yeah, that was there rough. Thanks. <clears throat> okay, here comes the fucking Toxapex. I've never seen a Toxapex game be fun. Of course, I'm uh, salty about it naturally, but who's the who's the next victim? Um. Okay.
guard. Hmm. Okay, so surely it's like it's a KO. Surely it's not gonna live. Okay. Okay, so here's the <laughs> the scarf. Yep. And that's a fucking KO. That's oh man. It's nasty. Uh, well, Mega Zam is no joke. Well, neither is fucking Infernape. See that you could like you don't even have to put any speed investment in it. Oh, not at and all. And it outspeeds like half the meta. Dude, that's honestly Infernape is my least favorite matchup in draft. Like fighting that thing. Prepping for it is just so disruptive. Because between oh, yeah. the between the flare blitz and the close combat and outspeeding everything, plus having access to rocks and priority, like what the fuck? What are you supposed to do to 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 handle that thing? Spoilers. I drafted Inferno and PU. Yeah. Yeah. I saw. <laughs> With two fucking HP, taking out the rapid ash. Okay. <laughs> oh, there's still another one. So she's gonna be able to get the flare blitz. Or the wait, what? Look, because it is scarf. It is scarf. So. But why didn't she do that versus the fucking Guzzlord? Uh... Yeah, you know, that would have made a lot more sense because then it wouldn't have... Um... It would have saved all of that HP. Then she could have went back into Toxapex. Ugh. You know. She... She won. <laughs> Scar. Damn, that did a lot. Dude, Serena is pretty nutty as well. Oh, and if you're being like that, what is it, base 72 speed tier, it's it's a sleeper scarf, and it breaks stuff. Yeah, it really does. Uh, I've had bad times because of that thing before, before uh, for sure. Uh, but I'm about to pull up the next battle, which is a newcomer. Let me get the code typed in. But this is uh, a battle recently submitted by Davin, I believe just a day or so ago. The 11th. So yeah, yesterday. Oh, Tree's little bro. Yep. WWU A5 YP. Okay. So if I type that in, right? <laughs> what versus DJ? Yep, this is the DJ Davin battle. Uh, I haven't had a chance to watch this, so I'm pretty excited to check it out. Um. This is our first PU match on Battle of the Week, so let's, let's fucking get it going. It looks like a cool matchup, so. And don't get confused, DJ is the one that uploaded it, but it, for, for whatever reason, I guess it was such a good battle, he went ahead and saved it and uploaded it. Uh, but Davin... 
it, it was his submission. So. Hazards. Alright. It's so weird, though. Yeah. Because, oh, like... It's strange. Oh. Wait, what? And lowers your speed? Yeah, dude, it's 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 crazy. Idea. <laughs> That's broken. It's crazy, man. It's crazy. Dude, here comes the whisk cash. Who even fucking knows what it's gonna do? <sighs> I believe he gets Dragon Dance. If I remember correctly, yeah. Yep. <laughs> Dude, these PU yeah. battles. Oh my god. Just seeing a Whiskash and a fucking Stun Fisk on the field makes me so happy. Here we go, another game with Infestation. Two in a row. Alright, let's see how much damage this does. Enough. <laughs> I'm gonna look up Whiskash's stats real quick. Uh, oh no shit. <laughs> okay, it has Oblivious, Anticipation, and Hydration. Um, I know it's switching out. It's four times a week, two grass. Uh, man, it's such a weird, weird move pool. Um, its base attack is 78 with a speed of 60. So slow, though. Yeah. 110 HP. It's got the bulk. And only one weakness. So... Well, and there's nice synergy there with the, uh, with the giraffe rig. Yeah, with Sap Sipper. Yeah. There's so many shenanigans going on in this battle right now. Oh, besides the earthquake, there haven't really been many... No, it hasn't been offensive. It's just been... <laughs> just all over the place. <clears throat> um, so, we see Lateria, another Dragon Dancer, um, forcing the switch on Pukyu. Oh, it doesn't like that. Okay. Okay, so they have one down on each side, I believe. Ursaring. Man, he has two very similar Pokemon with Ursaring and Zangoose. Here comes the uh, Phytinium, which is going to fucking shred this thing. What's its body type move? Drain Punch? Piss Blast. Oh, yep. Yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm done. This is gonna KO. Okay. Ursaring doesn't really get much of a spotlight. Yo, oh, Pig Knight's another one of those sleeper fighting types. Like, everyone was just snatching up the fighting types in the draft. Yeah, dude. I grabbed uh, 
uh, throw as soon as I could. I was like, oh, well, there goes Hitmonchan. There goes Girder. Yeah, really, as, just... as soon as I saw Hitmonchan go, I was like, oh, shit, I have to jump on a Biting type. All right, so, um... Yeah. This might KO, too. De depending on the bulk. Not enough, though. So it might have been an offensive set. Yeah. So, I don't expect this to do much. God, I did a good... Oh, it was a crit. I was about to say. Aw, oh, the toxic miss. That sucks. Um. So I... He may be wanting to soak it right here so he can stop spamming fucking earthquakes. Um. Oh my god, two toxic misses. What? No. Wow, and this is gonna... Man, he should have soaked it already. Okay, well... He does have that going for him. Puku is a bulky son of a bitch. Oh, but he's taking his fucking chance to get set up here. It hit. It finally fucking hit. <laughs> okay, so the... Oh, Lumberry, are you kidding what? me? Dude. <laughs> Davin. <laughs> oh my god. For the love of god, don't miss another Toxic. Okay, good. I just noticed. Are those like little feet on Wishcash? Uh, they're like fins. What? I don't. Are you, are you talking about on the. Yeah. Oh, uh, it's back. Like it's got its tail and like two little like. Two little fin type leg things. Yeah. I don't know. What you gonna do, Wishcash? Oh, get protected on. I will say though, Wishcash is pretty cool. Like, I mean, it's limited with some of the attacks that it can use. Yeah. Access to Spark. Um, which is pretty fun for coverage. Oof. One HP. Got to make it count. Okay, it's just gonna earthquake and give it a a free whatever it wants to do. I guess he's gonna soak a uh, a switch in here. Although the toxic misses has been happening, he's been getting pretty lucky with the para. Wow, that is a crazy looking shiny. That's pretty. Actually, it's kind of cool. I'm. I don't think I've really, like, seen it in a in-game no, before. No, I haven't. I think it's my first time seeing a shiny go-go. It's red hooves. Oh, I, I spoke too soon about the para. But the red hooves kind of give it a, a kind of a crazy... It kind of looks like it's wearing little red slippers. Is it a double para? No. Oh. Okay, it does get the toxic off. Yeah, I will say that's kind of rough now, because, like, Altaria was his only cleric. Yeah. I think. Yeah, it seemed that way. Um, They're 3-3 three to three right now. Oh, Puku's going to get a, a, the second round of Toxic on it. Um, 
I guess he just sacks it here. Uh, Puku. Oh, the crit crit mattered. No, I'm kidding. The Puku different definitely uh, served its purpose here. Um. Although Davin, if you're watching this, dude, baton pass. Seriously. Baton pass Puku Muku is God. But we do see the Zangoof Goose. Uh, Okay, the Go Goat switches right out. Um, I wonder what item the Zangus has. Oh, that's a two-hit KO. Yep. Okay, surely it's not a choice band. Um, maybe Scarf? It might be Scarfed. I mean, just the way he switched that out, too. Yeah. Lunge. Oh, man. That did a good amount of damage. Such a good move, too. But that that's all that's seriously impre oh the man. Ah, that's nasty. So what are they? Are they two and two right now? Oh. Yes. Yeah. Yes, they are. Man. Okay, we see another lunge. Um. Hmm. This isn't gonna do much. Actually, I. Was, what the fuck? I thought. Oh, I thought it was resisted. It's like minus two though. What the fuck? That is stabbed, though. Okay, okay. <laughs> so, my god, this is all over the place. Um, so, Davin is down to his last Pokemon. And I, I don't know that he's revealed it. Oh, it's a Zangoose, right. Um, hmm. So how's this going to go down? X scissor, okay, that's super effective. Oh, not enough. What? Oh, no. man. Oh shit, okay, okay. So, Gogo's going to get outsped here. Um, that or just thought it no, didn't go down. Okay, yeah, yeah that, that's, that's, that's it. Awesome. Dang, I think the Horn Leech at the end might have, uh... I, I don't know if it would have done anything. I don't know. I would have rather went for that with the stab over a low base power, uh, super effective move. I mean, mm, I don't know. It this match was kind of all over the place. Yeah, I mean, well, it's fucking PU, dude. I mean... I have a feeling that's how a lot of this season's gonna be. And uh, just so everyone knows, uh, me and Beard are actually about to throw down ourselves as soon as we uh, finish up some prep. Um, we're both gonna have our first PU match shortly. And I'm excited, I'm nervous. Dude, I've never used, like, over half of these mons. <laughs> I need to look at my team again uh, to say that for sure. They're but... always overlooked because they're, they're just trash, you know? And it's kind of hard to want to build a team around it when, uh... 
Well, there are I've, clearly better choices. I've played a lot of low tier multis, um, just throughout the years. So I've seen some of these mons, but when it comes to actually like using a, a team, a balanced team, making switches and reads and dude, I, it's gonna be so hard to remember like abilities and move pulls and base stats and speed tiers, dude. It's it's gonna be all over the place. I. I don't know. Yeah, it's it's definitely really confusing. Because there's a lot of slow base tier, B tier Pokemon. Oh, and um, all the Eviolites at that. But, okay. Uh, yeah, this this is a, another... This is another, um... Another PU battle. Uh, looks like it was submitted today. Uh, Trig versus... Arthur, yeah, 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 yeah. Um, damn, it looks. What? Like, yeah, yeah. Um, matchup. This matchup is lit. Yeah, it is. Okay, I'm gonna. Uh, I'm, the Chime God himself. Dude, I know. I'm so excited to see it. I already know a Lola person is gonna be annoying as fuck. What? But. Yeah, yeah. Let's let's see this. I gotta lie. Trig got a really good team. He did. I like it. We were in cohorts a little bit, and I was like, dude, I really want to take Mr. Mime. It's like, don't do it. Please don't do it. <laughs> like, you know, and I spent just like a couple hours trying to figure out, I'm like, well, shit, if I don't want to take Mr. Mime. Yeah. But it's just. Oh, no. What? Oh, no. Dude. No! What? Dude. Plus <laughs> <laughs> no, dude, what the fuck? Rocky M Z. Okay. Oh, and he's. Oh my god. I bet <laughs> he did not expect that to happen. Wow. Okay. My god. <laughs> Here comes the Scyther, which is a goddamn monster in this format. Um, with a knockoff, Bastion's not going to like that. It breaks the sturdy. Um, sprinkles. Okay, this the semi. Uh, su like, core. I'm gonna lie. Very dope when they came out with the starters in Gen Five. Plot. Yeah, it was, I was just gonna say it's really cool how they um view uh, an elemental monkey to complement your starter. Yeah. And white. Oof. And after reading up a little bit on it, uh, it's actually really, really good in this format. Which I was glad to hear, because they're total shit everywhere else. Oh my god! Uh, what? I did not see that coming. Okay. Um... 99. Okay, lefties. Ooh, that was a Ooh. spin block, man. Dude, it's been so long since I've seen an actual spin block. Yeah. Oh. Yep. Man, that's the second time Trig is just eating shit. <laughs> like... Arthur's got some good momentum going on right now. Okay, he's at minus, minus one. It is... Ooh, I was going to say it is forcing the switch. Um, That's nasty. Okay, U-turn. A slow U-turn. That's cool. Pivots. Slow pivots are so good. Dude, I know. Uh, what is... 
is this? Okay. Cling. Oh, shit. Dang. Okay, it ate that up. With the wall charge. Ooh, that's gonna hurt. Oh my god, it lived. Dude, after that recoil, that might be enough with the high roll. Nailed a couple of hydros there. That's... That's good for him. So I wonder if that outspeeds. No, because this motherfucker has priority rock. Okay. Priority grass and a priority fire attack. <sighs> oh. Dude, I thought he was going to hard switch into the primate again. Yeah, dude, if he would have made that play, that would have been fucking awesome. Megalodon. <laughs> no! <laughs> okay, um... No! Okay. Arthur's up right now, uh, four to three, looks like. He's gonna need to get those out. So he's played very strategically. Yeah. Now Scyther can come Wait. in for free. Well, I say for free. He can U turn here and. Ooh. But this motherfucker's getting beefy. But he wants to U turn into the Scyther and hit it with fucking X Scissor, I guess. Ooh, with the U-turn, but that's that's only gonna do fucking half. Not even. That's oh. That's that was too... pretty good chunk. Man, with the recover. <sighs> Not looking good. We're over halfway now. Um, actually, uh, two turns past halfway. Okay, so he sets a late taunt. Lycanroc does get the sword stance, um, but for what? What's it gonna do? Go for flinches. Ouch. Dude, he needs to hit like a crit flinch to to get on top. Mm. And it's not like he can uh -oh. sword stand. Dude, that taunt was really clutch. Dude, Arthur's begging for a flinch here. And it's just not happening. God damn. Is it taunt over now? I think so. Yep. Okay, so he can set a sword stance, which he doesn't do. Mm. Oh, and he got his flinch. Man. I'd be setting the SD. Oh, another flinch. Man. Dude, he's lucky that all these are hitting. Ah, oh, God, dude. Set a sword stance, please. I'm begging you.
dude, he has to just get this plus six here. He doesn't have an option. No, he just goes for the attack. Oh my god. That's... That's... Uh, I think this is game. <laughs> dude, that's... That's it. We already know how much a Scyther does to it. Dude, unless it crits. Oh my god, Just man. Yeah, it's safe to say the Kamala's probably gone. With the recover, this is... This is nasty. Nothing. Bulky ass Kamala, though. gonna u-turn out but man without a crit yeah dude that did nothing fuck that's horrible man playing the u-turn smart because now well i wonder if this is gonna take it because of the ev light all right well here's a tip for everyone fighting trig from now on bring fucking taunt or roar or yeah. anything. The game ending uh C move. Yeah. At least he's ending it on a cool note. Maybe it'll crit. I'm actually interested in seeing what this is gonna do. No what? Nothing. <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Okay. This is an epic move, and I'm just gonna take 16 points of damage. <laughs> oh my god. Well, um, we're gonna save the, the LDL battle for the uh, the PR, since those get rewarded there. Um, so we're looking at Amber versus Jesse with the Toxapex shenanigans, Davin versus Trig with that clusterfuck of a PU battle and uh the the charm god sweep um what do you think man oh uh, questionable plays in amber's battle yeah um with some of the things going on. And in Davin's, Davin and DJ, they were pretty set up trickery. It was and, a good match. It was a good uh, match. I gotta say, I, I, I like this. I liked how close it got to, of course, like Trig and the, Trigging what I'm, I'm you, cut, really, you cut out a little bit. Yeah, I'm really leaning Trig. But also, like, Davin played a pretty good game. Yeah. Um, I go with Trig. I gotta go with Trig. I definitely, I definitely see where you're coming from. Um... Personally, 
I, uh, I don't know. The Trig battle was, <laughs> it was fun to watch. He just, Trig made some bad plays. Um, he was like two dude. or th two or three bad plays. <laughs> Wait a minute, now that you put that into perspective? Hmm. I mean, he made some bad plays. I mean, n not taking anything from him. I make bad plays constantly. It's fucking part of the game. But the the battle beforehand, the Davin versus, um, what, what was that? Davin versus DJ. Both of them kind of just played throughout all of their mons. Ursaring is the only one that didn't really, like do shit like everything else they were swinging hits back and forth there was uh some setup shenanigans on both sides um yeah yeah the uh toxic thread was pretty neat on the uh the area dose yeah so personally i'm leaning towards the davin versus dj battle um you know what if you... after you mentioned that uh-huh I kind of have to concede to Davin. One of those, like, what the hell? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, not taking anything from Trig. I, I mean, Trig got in the position he needed to get in, set his shit up, and, you know, that was the game. Yeah. But the dynamic, the, the back and forth, like, kind of more s solid plays, I would say. Um... Just between DJ and the, it was just so even throughout the whole match. It was, it was really fun to watch. So I, if you're cool with it, I think we're going to award the battle of the week number twenty five to those two dudes. And by those two dudes, I mean only Davin. Get fucked, DJ. Just kidding, DJ. Yeah, I'm with you on that. <laughs> sorry, Trig, but yeah, sorry, Trig. Your, your little bro pulled through. Yeah, for sure. Wow, but. <laughs> Yeah, for sure. Um, well, that sums it up for uh, Battle of the Week number 25. Uh, congrats to Davin. Thank you to all of those who um, uploaded. Amber, your submit your second submission is getting saved for next week, so that's going to be the first Battle of the Watch for next week. Um, keep the videos coming, guys. Like, between PU and Evo and the fucking tourneys, I mean, there's, there's always something to submit. And keep in mind, if you're an LDL... Just fucking bite your tongue because that shit gets awarded at, in the PR each week. So, um, with that, I think it's time to sign off and get our shit prepped so maybe one of us can have Battle of the Week next week. Hopefully. <laughs> yeah, yeah, hopefully. If you beat me, I'm not voting for you. Dude. <laughs> no, I'm just saying. <laughs> but um... all right. All right. Anything else you want to add before we fucking bail? Uh, Davin DM the uh, uh, the admin page to collect your cash monies, and yeah, uh, sure. I think we'll see you guys in the next video. Yeah, for sure. So yeah, everyone have a good night and uh, keep an eye out for my stream because I will be uh, uploading that to YouTube tonight. So get me more views than Jesse. Uh, have a good night, everyone.